Start tonight a step closer to a permanent memorial for victims of the Waukesha Parade tragedy. The potential design to narrow tonight down the three finalists. New attend Tony Atkins walks us through the process. A room filled with ideas. Tuesday, the Waukesha Parade Memorial Commission whittled down the prospective designs for its permanent memorial from 7 to 3. This came after a discussion about what would suit the community best while honoring those lost and the survivors. The natural element was important to capture in this. The commission also looking at factors including things like cost, durability, and location. The thought process is, as we look at this, Let's talk about and think about 50 plus years out, 75 plus years out. Some of the memorial ideas included sculptures, sitting areas, a message tree and green space. Ultimately, the commission deciding on three recommendations, a garden space, a Grady Park monument and seating design, as well as a heart shaped monument with blue lighting and walking paths. One of the ideas that they incorporated in this design was a cobblestone gateway into Greedy Park. I, I felt that that was really welcoming and you know, it's a pathway into the park. I spoke with Ed Hatch, an in-law of one of the victims. He asked we didn't share their name. He says after nearly a year since the tragedy, he welcomed seeing the memorial honoring those lost. But the best memorial for him lives on in his heart, remembering how a Waukesha strong community wrapped his arms around families working to heal. The memorial, it's like a, a gravestone, unfortunately. You know, you look at it here and now and it's important, but 10 years from now it probably isn't. But the community support still is. And to me, that's what's important. In Waukesha, Tony Atkins, TMJ4 News. TMJ4 is honored to be broadcasting live coverage of this year's Waukesha Christmas Parade. You can watch the parade on Sunday, November 20th, starting at 4 p.m.